Hey guys, Lex here, back for some more Nino Kuni. Last time we got Horus's uh, story done, and now uh, I'm gonna continue with other side quests. But first, uh, I just spent, I don't know, 20 hours <laughs> farming uh, <laughs> items, but uh, I don't know if it was 20 hours, but uh, stopped here, so might as well check this out. Home of Hamlin. I don't know. I think I have that already. I don't know. Uh, but something else. I I also got the Glim Reaper achievement, where you get the twenty th or two thousand Glims. Surprised it took me that long to get it. But uh, I'm gonna finish everyone else's levels up. So here's uh, Dino Max Attack. Uh, Percy Max Attack. Go-Go Max Magic Deck And Sid oh, So I don't have to waste time doing this ever again <laughs> Everyone's at 50 Anyway, um One other thing I did Since I Did the formula Uh, what was I supposed to do? I think the axe Min's axe? Oh. Wait, 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 there's a quest. Uh, and it wasn't a recipe yet, so let me see. War God's axe. Right. Uh, how do I make that? <laughs> of course, I didn't look that up before doing this. I think it's Demon's Axe. And... This took forever to farm, this took forever to farm, and literally as I was started recording I got one. <laughs> You're on accident. Uh, angel wings are a pain in the ass. These things are horrible. What the hell? Why do they take forever? These two. <laughs> so... Uh, these are annoying, but not as bad. And these are easy. So let me... I think I need five of these. And... Ooh, do I need five of these? Ink. Make sure it go Whatever. <laughs> More God's Axe. Okay. Travel. Vacate. Alright. Let's go to this old dude. Get it! I made the War God's Axe! Yeah, <laughs> wonderful. I really did think you had it in you, boy. Well, it wasn't easy, but I sure learned a lot along the way. Yeah, ha ha ha, of course you did. Keep this up. You'll be a great wizard one day, mark my words. I want you to have this. Consider it a reward for all the alchemical endeavors. We'll see your oh, glowstone so good. Master Alchemist. The old man who inhabits a cave atop a genie step says he's willing to teach you some advanced alchemical techniques. Oh shit, what the hell did just happen? Also gave you some new and exciting formula to try out. You both good work, and someday you may justly be able to call yourself the world's second greatest alchemist. Yay. What do we get? Yeah, War God's Axe already made. Is it? 120. What the hell? Okay, let me check that. <laughs> I mean. War God's Armor takes Troll's Tears and Rose of Tears. Okay, that's really good, because those are easy to get comparatively. Oh, sweet! Mad Scientist, Warrior for Alchemic is Zizing uh, 120. So I wasted all that time farming for all the other items like this. Light of Stone, Scrolls of Truth, I could also make that. War God's Helm. 
Evil eyes, cool. Okay, I don't want to make that because evil eyes are a pain in the ass. And, okay, this one uses right stones. Those are easy to get. Star pearls, easy to get. We just need to know where to get those things. Cool. Uh, one achievement that I don't have to worry about. Uh, also, uh, Percy's really close to leveling up. Uh, let's travel to that one quest. Where is it? Go to Iron Raven. Let's do that knight's quest. Wait, there's a quest here. Do the lead talk to these guys. Oh, hello there, sir. Oh, wait. He just sells stuff. Uh, uh, it's the other guy, Hurley. Surly, I mean. <laughs> Lipmon, Nomon. This will never do. Alright, gay boys, you don't look too chirpy. Oh, how do you, uh, drippy boy? Here, listen to this, alright. Finally went and opened our shop, and not a single flippin' fairy has popped in. Tragic it is. I just don't know where we're going wrong, man. We got some proper tidy stock and everything. Tell you where you're wrong, going wrong. Open a shop up here. <laughs> You dumb skulls. What fair is ever gonna end up here? I feel kinda sorry for him, Mr. Drippy. Is it there something we could do? Alright, alright, let's have a think. Well, there ain't much we can do about the location, but of course, crikey, I clever. Here, how about your flagship products? Eh, sorry, we don't sell uh ships, man. Well we could order you one if flagship products, I said. You flippin' half wit. You know, exclusive stuff. Stuff you can only get by here. Make ourselves the exclusive stockets of some unique high-end items and they'll be queuing up around the deck on on. Reckon? Tidy. Where do we get some of them, then? Leave them to me, Mon. Got loads of flippin' brilliant ideas I have. Even better than what he has now? <laughs> You're joking, aren't you? I'm not letting you go off on spending spree while I stuck up here solving away at the shop. You work shy, so and so. Every boy, a lot can find us some proper good stuff in it, though. Smiling Surly needs some ideas for new weapons to attract customers to shop. Agreed to help Smiling Surly. Surly tidy tools. Hurry, cat, live with us. Hey, Smiley, can you tell us what I use, Of course, Mon. My first amazing idea is to go back home and ask everyone in Fairyground. So many people buy down there, one of them's bound to have an idea. So your amazing idea is to keep asking people until you find someone with an actual idea, is it? And to think I doubted you. Tom, on, I knew you'd like it. Also, I reckon we need some proper quirky stuff, so try asking someone with an eye of, for comedy, too. Eye for comedy, eh? Well, there's an obvious candidate for that, ain't there? Indeed, Mon. She's been around the tidy while, too. Reckon she might know something. That's why I talked about asking her. See, my ideas are proper tidy and everything, but her ideas might be good, too, ain't it, though? Yes, it could be that, or more likely your ideas are a load of frickin' rubbish. Oh, and there was another one I had where we were lilies. One of them used to always go on about these amazing weapons he dreamed of. It was a tidy while back, though, so I can't remember which about it. Proper quirky ideas they were, though. Well, weird. Oh yeah, my little fella in it, though. It smelled funny. Yeah, that was him, one. And I remember now, it was you. <laughs> what? No frippables. Nickers. So, draw them all over the place, ain't it, though? Reckon might be some mirror graffiti left somewhere. Well, looks like a trip to the very ground on the cards, ain't it? Let's go and find these boys some one-off wonder weapons. Let's go. Let's go. We'll be right back, you guys. Tidy. Retire off for now. Get stuck. Just come back and ask us, ain't it, though? Uh, I have no idea what they all say. <laughs> well, let's figure it out. We're not doing the night stuff <laughs> yet. Please, okay. There's a. Uh... Did I get anything here? Name. Name merit rewards. I only have one. Alright. Almost done. This guy? Oh, do boys. Long time no see, eh? 
Trippy boy, how to something up? Well, I got something to ask you as it goes. How to ask us? What is it, Mon? We're not in trouble, are we? Okay. Wiley and Surly's really got a weapon shop, is it? That was just part of the routine, like. Ah, uh, Mon, it's all true, and they need stock in it. You think of any weapon cell? Get the fairies flock into their door. What about your old slapstick, Trippy boy? There's not many more legendary weapons than that, is there? My slapstick, don't be daft. Wouldn't anyone walk through that old bit of rubbish, Mon? Ah, oh, of course, you've not been around lately, have you? Thanks as you say, reckon you're a proper legend in it. You're known as the Circles as a Lord High Lord of the Laughs. <laughs> Lord High Lord of the Laughs, huh? That's one neat nickname. Ain't it though, your gags are the stuff of fairy legend, drippy boy. No one else has even come close. Which is why youngins have been going crackers for replicas of your famous slapsticks in it. Really, imagine that, uh, I mean, uh, there's no accounting for taste, I suppose. You got the details, this replica thing in your hand. Ta, ah, boys, this will come proper handy. Glad to be of service, Rippy boy. Smiling it's early or regrets, eh? Records. Soppy slapstick. Okay, I think, uh, that one lady is their mom. I'm guessing the graffiti's inside. Ma'am, I'm home. Is that you, Trippy Bach? Well, I told you ever give me a bit of notice before you come home, eh? Leaving your own ma'am in the dark, honestly. None done my hair or my makeup or nothing. Look at the state of me, goodness only knows what your friends might think of me, the shame. Shut up, <laughs> No one cares what you look like, stop embarrassing me. Anyway, there's more important things to talk about. Smiling's earlier in a proper pickle and we need to bend your ear about it. Listen to him, cheeky little devil. He was such a dear, sweet little, but a rapid little lad who loved this mommy whammy woo, hey? Eh? Is it, is it? Well, that's easy enough. I know just the thing you need. Come to me while you're gabbering on it, it. Go on then, tell us. You need is a weapon with a funny name to make your customer smile at it. A lance would do it, I reckon. Eh, yeah, should. Of course it would. Trust your old ma'am. Now, what about a nice healing one called an ambulance? Ah. <laughs> <sighs> uh, well, good. Tough crowd. Never mind. Well, you could give it one away, I suppose, called freelance. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. uh, still not keen? Quirky. You want the moon on a stick? Do you do? Of all my little ease, there ain't a single one that ever gave me so much grief. The things I do for you. The things you don't do, more. <laughs> Don't you take that tone with me, young man. Fine, I'll give you my most secret secret. Just don't blame me if you get embarrassed. Oh, just shut up and tell us why. <laughs> the lads, I used to rock you to sleep before you were old enough to let me so mercilessly. <laughs> my dear old lullaby lads. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, don't get all dewy-eyed on me, love. You've got me started now, wailing up I am. Shut up, Mum. Ta for the idea. See you later. Lullaby lanes. That sounds good. And graffiti. Should be inside. I hope. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Hey look, Mr. Drippy, there's something written here. Oh yeah, what does it say then? Need some of my gloves from the claws of a crab. Crap crap. Found stone dead on the beach, poor dab. Then carved my foes up something lush, but turned my flipping hands to mush. Uh, uh. Turned his own hands to mush. Well, that's no flipping good, is it? Claude Claus. All right. Uh, it's, uh, of course, it was the. I went right to left, <laughs> and uh, I found nothing but this. So, shit, I can't. Alright, so I went right to left, and <laughs> of course that's the last room I check. <laughs> uh. okay. Now, can I teleport? But it's not like a huge fetch quest. Sorry to keep you waiting, boys. We got them ideas you were after. Don't know if they'll be any use, but 
Lipmon, you did tidy. Give us a look then. I knew he wouldn't let us out on Trippy Boy. Stuff is gold, man, gold. Ah, uh, you reckon Mam's one <laughs> Mam's one was flipping rubbish, I thought. Nah, man, don't be stupid, man. Proper bangers, these are. And it though, smiling. No, it ain't though. Still missing something, and my dream weapon shop won't be complete till we got it. Right, okay, there's no pleasing some people, is there? Go on then, what is it? Well, you see, it's. What is it? It's a souvenir of the great sage Alicia. What? Ah, why, Alicia's? I know, man, I know, she's gone. But there's. Why is be so special, and it? Proper relic, you know, a real talking point. But where can I find one of those? Or indeed, Ollie boy. Hang on, of course. Ollie and it. Ah, my mom? Yeah, your mom's most great sage Alicia before she went to your world, wasn't she? The only thing your mom counts as a souvenir is the great sage in it. Oh, I see, is that stretching out a little? Nah, man, it, it's not a lie, is it? It's all how you sell it. Tidy, that's decided then. Let's go find something, shall we? Are you kidding? <laughs> Do we have to, uh. Break into my mom's room and steal something. I guess it's technically all mine now. <laughs> I thought it was Phil's house for a second. And this is my stuff. It's my mom's room. Holy shit. Hmm, this is my mom's diary. Look, this bandage she gave. It's glowing. The Tale of Wonder, the Young Woman's Journal. Oh. Is that it? Okay. Oh, look at that. Mm. Oh, this one. Twelfth Tale, the Young Woman's Journal. Decided I must become a wizard. Hmm. I'd read that if I, my voice isn't pretty bad right now. <laughs> uh, let's go back. Each and I reckon there must be something by here we could use. Well, boy, can you think of anything your mom would be proud of? Her weapon of choice, like. A frying pan, I guess. She used it every morning to make get my eggs. She must have liked it. <laughs> a frying pan, eh? Eggs, you say? Roll up, roll up. Use a very frying pan of the great sage Alicia used to exact vengeance. <laughs> the frying, the flying frying pan, or maybe just the flying pan. Yeah, I reckon I can work with that. Uh, yeah, this will do. Will be perfect, in fact. Tidy job done. Let's go, shall we? Are you sure? Is it kind of like a goof idea for? Yeah, for mom's favorite pan. Okay. Uh, I actually teleported back and they didn't say anything about the journal. <laughs> yeah, I had to run back here. Alright. Brace yourself, boys. We come bearing proper good news. Nice one, Drippy Boy. We knew you wouldn't let us down. Come on, what have you got for us? Right, okay, that's interesting. So the Great Sage Alicia was proper fond of something called a frying pan, is it? That's right, um, it's not a weapon, but... Shut it, you. I mean, let me finish, will you, Eyeboy? Yeah, so it's technically a weapon. But she used it to absolute murder some sausages. Why do you reckon? We could do something with this, innit? Of course we can, Mon. It's an absolute banger. Oh, Mon. Seriously, our new stock's going to bring them flocking from the miles around. Here, take it, say, to like, go on, take it. A uh, blossom of the bard and a pretty parasol. Oh, the title who will smiley and certainly need some ideas for new weapons to attract customers to their shop. Ike, to think someone. to think we started out with them. Gregory, to think we started out the game with that umbrella thing, it was our store item. And it though. At a weapons shop specializes in umbrellas. Bonkers, we must have been. Come on. Not to mention it, that means the formula's going spare now, isn't it? Here, I have this too. Bit pain to make, but try it out, man. You never know, it might come in handy, save for a rainy day, and it. Oh, god. Uh, new alchemy formula. 
Right oh, let's sell our faces off, shall we? Roll up, roll up, roll down, roll sideways, we don't care as long as you roll our way. Uh, oh, he doesn't actually sell anything. Nothing new. Holy shit, is this new? Poppy slaps. Occasionally stuns an enemy. Oh, it's a magic base, of whatever. I don't want it. I want to buy one just for the... ...chin. <laughs> Mom's favorite pet. Uh... Lullaby Lance. That's actually nice. Sleep is good. What the heck? Actual... Good? Actual upgrade? Wow. Anything new here? No. Okay. Uh, let's check the new formulas. Pretty parasol. Two blue pipes, two black wings, and five ring of bells. Uh, shield. Uh, but it has a lot of resistance. I'll make one because it's not bad. I already have one. What the heck? I don't know, did I just make it back at <laughs> Some of- Oh shit! Bard's harp. Oh, I need- Shit. <laughs> I need two sword pearls for this. Why didn't I farm for these things? I forgot. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I'll do it next time if there's a next- I'm just gonna do it next time. Okay, let's do the night quest now. Let me see. Am I close to level? 19,000. I don't know if it maxes at 99 or 100. But, uh, let's talk to these guys. Talk to you first. Even with our Queen's guidance, you have done well to reach the Ivory Tower. Are you really the one our Queen has led to us? It is good of you to join us here in the clouds. We have awaited your coming. Oh, you are waiting for us? Hmm, I still have my doubts. Can this boy really be the one we seek? But you have seen the girl who accompanies him. Have you not? She is the very image of que the queen in her youth. If our queen has led him here, then he must surely possess the power we require. I would like nothing more than to believe you, but how can our queen see clearly when she is enveloped in fathomless darkness? Boy, Tin Face, I don't care how fancy your flippin' armor is. Don't your ma'am ever teach you its root to whisper in front of other people? Excuse me, sir, but who are you and um, what are you doing here? We once formed a queen's honor guard. It was our duty to protect this palace. Lest you wander, we are illusions given life by the power of the queen's imagination. Much like the zodiacs you have no doubt encountered. You know what? Quick, Ollie boy, get your wand ready. We're going to fight on our hands. Hm. This fairy is a feisty one, is he not? Fear not, we are not your enemies. The Zodiacs who sat at our Queen's council were malign. But we sprang from the part of our Queen's heart that is still wise and just. Though her radiance has lost sight of this side of herself, it lives on. Indeed, it was the very part of her heart that led us you here to us. Now we wish you the greatest rest to those who once defeated our cursed kingdom. Cursed kingdom? I guess you didn't ask, huh? Precisely. Now, would you be a good enough to hear our request? Order of Illusion. Knights who appeared in the Ivory Tower are ghosts who were once charged with protecting Queen Cassiopeia. Agree to listen to the Knights' request. Okay. Well, I'm sure, I guess. What is it you like us to do? Long ago, before a queen was born, we raged across this land. No part of the world was spared the horror and turmoil of the Wizard Wars. Each side vied for advantage. New weapons were devised which fused steel, stone, and sorcery. Weapons known as magic. Oh no, I have to go and pick those up. <laughs> of course, the Magimax station around the palace are mere replicas. The originals were vastly more powerful. 
warranted these weapons were deprived of their purpose, and one by one they became dormant, a state akin to eternal sleep. So we believed. It now seems that some have reawoken, and all four Majimaks have emerged from their slumber. Perhaps the reference of the Ivory Tower disturbed them. We are not certain. In any case, the magical weapons that are unwanted relics of that wretched conflict, they have no place here in this time. We have faith that our queen, his heart, will restore to its former purity when this happens. We would spare her the sight of such tragic vestiges of Nazca's past. That's why we ask you to help the Magimax return to their slumber. Listen, Helmet Face, are you sure you're telling us the full story? Because I'm not sure I trust you as far as I could spit you. All this business about the Queen's heart being pure. Well, it sounds nice enough, but I ain't seen much evidence of it so far. Something smells fishy to me. But, Mr. Trippy, don't you remember those visions from Queen Cassiope's fast? You saw them too, right? I think they're telling the truth. We appreciate your good faith, young man. Where are they, the Magimax, I mean? When peace returned after the Wizard Wars, the Magimax were confined to a number of secure locations around the world. Over the centuries, many changes have wrought their in the landscape and we can no longer be certain of their whereabouts. Perhaps your travels have laid eyes on these ancient weapons sleeping peacefully. I'm afraid we could offer you little like guidance. You must rely on your own memories. Ah, oh, that's flippin' brilliant. That is. Make it easy for us. Why don't you flippin' dodgy blooming tin faced? Calm down, Mr. Trippy. I think I can recall really hard we can. Well, one piece of information we might prove useful. Magimax have a strong connection to memory stones. If you are familiar with them, I take it. The monuments that grant healing and store one's recollections. And where a memory stone is found, too. So, too, may a magic mech reside. Okay, we'll do it. We'll find them for you. Alright, I know where they all are. Uh, let's go to the... The spooky place first. <laughs> I've been there so long, I don't even remember the name. Tombstone Trail, that's what I... <laughs> Oh shit. Uh, let me uh, save just in case he's actually strong. Nickers is flipping magic mech. Look out, Ollie boy. <laughs> looks like the the weak ones though. Stay calm now. Yeah, let me do more time. Boulder. See how much damage that does. <laughs> oh, I probably should have stolen just in case. Oh well. The next one is weak, and then I'll. Nice one. Tidy, nice one, Ollie boy. If any more Magimax fancy a script, you'll give them what's for. Alright, let's go to the one in Golden Grove. Look, man, it's Magimax. Get your one ready, Ollie boy. <laughs> Steel, and it's actually something I'm reloading. Okay. Uh oh. Why? Why is it stuck now? Most of the battle is that, uh, switching. <laughs> oh shit! I just realized, uh... Shit! Just realized I had everyone on Do Not Attack. I was farming all this time. work, Ollie boy. Two more to go. Keep it up. So I'm gonna go get the crystal that's over here at the bottom. So yeah. Alright. Look, Ollie boy, it's one of them rifts. 
Getting that bad feeling again, Ollie boy. What do you reckon? Yeah, let's get it. For it, are you? Well, don't say it anymore, are you? I'm gonna do Ice Cave next. Okay, let's see if I can steal from this guy. Bad at all. A bad leader. Oh shit, it does have an item. Not good, though. Over the species. What? Wait, do I not get an achievement for uh, getting level 99? <laughs> Wait. Sid got to 99 before Percy? That's crazy. Well, maybe I have to be. I have to be level 99. Whatever. Alright, let's go travel to. Ice place. Right here. Oh, come on, it's a magic mech. Get your wand ready, Ollie boy. Yeah. Let's go. Here goes. <laughs> That's the most I've ever seen. 1800? 3000. What hits. can I say? It's a gift. Uh, that's three of those rust buckets who struck on their scrap heap. Just one more to go. Let's switch out Sid. Since he's already max HP or er, experience. Old Smokey. Alright. Nickers is a flipping magic mech. Look out, Ollie boy. Rawr. Fancy your chances, do you? Here goes! <laughs> Looks like you had all them all, Holly boy. Now let's go back to the ivory tower, shall we? Uh, is there a chest here? A purple chest? Oh yeah, there is a purple chest. Let's get that. Oh 
Oh shit, there's something in the top of Oak Smokey. Alright, I'll see you guys there. No slacking, you oh, lot. cool. I drag it and a drag -o. I don't actually... No, these... I haven't fought any of these, so I'm gonna try to steal them. This is basically how I've been farming. Understorm. And if I could steal, I'll steal. attack for them, but whatever, I don't need to yet. Alright, uh, swing. Steal from Dragon. Holy shit, Celestial Sword? I think that was a little bit. And Dragon. You forget the lucky. Usually weapons are the rare stuff. Uh, useless. And that's basically what I do to farm. I do that, and depending on how far the place is, I just restart the game. So my game time is not accurate. <laughs> how much I've played. Okay, finally. That took forever. Uh oh, it's another one of them flipping rifts things. I don't like it, but not one, but... What's the betting there's a proper massive monster looking around here by there, then, hey? Well, what are we gonna do about this if there is... Like or... Careful, I boy, I can sense something proper nasty if you live my lantern, I can. Holy shit, he's so big. <laughs> Now you're for it. Oh, what a attack. Oh, that's it. And now we're putting you in the back. And let's more and more for the foes, these two. So, uh, I'll put this guy here. This guy here. And this guy here. That's good. Metamorphose those guys first. Uh, moon. I've been doing a bunch of monsters offline. Pomegranate. And. So. Oh wait, oh this is just a second form. Oh damn it, I thought it was the last form. <laughs> Alright, then I'll switch him back with uh... This guy takes so much- look at- he's level 2. 
and he needs 17,000 for the next one. <laughs> it's crazy. So, let me switch one of you. Vacate. Go back to the knights. Alright, we're back. This is splendid. The mad gimmicks have returned to their eternal slumber. Seems that we underestimated your power. I sense that you may even be capable of facing the kingdom's other great defenders in battle. You what? Don't tell me there's more blooming robots that need battling. Great there are. For remnants, <laughs> for the remnants of the sagely stone age, they are guarded the main cities of Nazca throughout the Wizard's Wars. While the Ivory Tower has floated free of the world below, Guardians have remained in Nazca, watching over the kingdom. We speak of the Magimac Masters. They were charged with guarding the kingdom's three cities, Nazca, Tikal, and Itzos. Oh, I guess there's still a lot of places I've never heard of. Nazca was the capital city, and the culture and language dominated the kingdom. We were the Knights of Nazca, defending the capital alongside the Magimac Masters. But now the power sealing them has waned. These once stout defenders pose a great threat to the people of this world, yourselves not least of all. We would ask you that you grant them rest as you did their lesser brethren. Okay, we'll do what we can. We thank you. Courage and spirit are admirable. You'll find the Magic Masters where the three cities once stood know that almost nothing now remains of those once bustling metropolises. Nothing save faded glyphs upon the ground. So all we have to do is keep our eyes peeled for weird doodles on the floor, is it? Looks like a doodle, really. Ollie boy. Um... I think... Those little rocks I've been wondering about. I think there's one near here. So let's try... Are you kidding me? There. Is it? Oh, there's some kind of writing on the stone. I wonder what it says. That's not it. Okay. Uh, go to... Is it just the drawings? Well, let me go in here first. I don't see anything here. Oh shit, they're actually in the map. <laughs> okay. Probably should heal. Watch out, Ollie boy, there's a great big Magimac master by there. Nope. This is this is good. one is it?
I need those right stones. Fly boy, it's one of the magic pack masters. This is your Fancy your chances, do you? Here goes! <laughs> Slacking you lot. Here goes. <laughs> a lot of them. Good job too. I was starting to get fed up with whacking their rock hard bodies right then. Back to Ivory Tower. Alright, travel to... Alright, I think we're gonna fight the final evolution of those guys. But at work, I confess that we harbored certain doubts as to whether you could truly defeat such formidable opponents. Sure you, the hearts of their masters are much lighter for your efforts. Masters? You mean the Magimac masters had masters of their own? Indeed, the Magimacs were in truth formed from the sp fighting spirit that dwelled within the hearts of certain individuals. They were familiars. Each one had a human master, and the three of those masters now stand before you. What do you mean? Ah oh, heck, I think I see where this is going. Yes, we Knights of Nazca too command soldiers of the soul. Come, prove your worth against the mightiest Magimax of all. Gross your true power. Oh, this is way better. <laughs> Holy shit, it's the th Okay. Let's do it! Uh... Manic Magimax. Slain! Steal. Step aside! Go! Get a load of it! Thank <laughs> you. 
Roger. Spike, he doesn't actually heal them all the way anymore. Super tanky uh, gem. Why, why am I? What the hell? Uh. Why did it do this? That's not good. It switched me. Oh my god. Beaten even our mighty familiars. Make it so let me get this straight. All them robo bruisers you had us going around bashing or flipping familiars all along. Indeed they were. I feel we owe you an apology. How come? Apart from attacking us, I mean. Those Megamax, those weapons of stone and steel that we asked you to defeat. They pose threat to neither man nor beast. Flipping what? You mean them great big bags of bolts were harmless all along? Ah, <sighs> you you flippin' fibbers. We were truly sorry, but we had, but had we told you the truth, you would almost certainly have refused. Of course, we would have. Why would you just hurt a bunch of innocent robots like that? By now, you must have heard of Dreadhead Mana. Masters of the Mechamex you face were transformed by its terrible power. Thus, we were left to wander world, masterless and alone. For years, they roamed without dis direction or purpose. By me, what do you do to pass the time? I wonder. They eked out an existence, waiting for the day when their masters would firmly return. Some stayed in Nazca, carving giant stone statues or drawing glyphs around on the ground. Others traveled the world, leaving behind pieces of themselves as they went, pieces which in time came to be known as memory stones. Ah, thus they came to develop what might even be called a primitive culture. All those pictures on the ground in Nazca. The waste zones we've been using the whole time. The Magimax did all that? It is correct. They were responsible for creating almost all that now remains of the period we call Sagely Stone Age. They were leaving signs that their masters could use to find them when they finally returned. Little knowing that they would never see them again. But we, at least, have returned by the grace of our queen. Yet, we are no more than illusions. Soon we will vanish as swiftly and suddenly as we appeared. That's why, before that day came, we wished to grant peace to those who had fought so bravely to keep the memories of Nazca alive, and remained so faithful still. But all we wanted, that is the truth. I see. You have helped us achieve all that we wished, and now we will vanish once more. We have faith that one day our queen will be restored to her true soul. Do everything we can to help Queen Cassiopeia, I promise. Pray that you will. And to that end, we grant you one last gift, the power of the Knights of Nazca. Oh shit, Nazca Locksword, suit of Nazca. Damn, that's cool. Order of Illusion. Knights who appeared in the Ivory Tower are ghosts who were once charged with protecting Queen Cassiopeia. Well, see ya. They're gone. 
Maybe we should help old Cassiopeia out sooner than later, eh, Ali boy? For their sake, like... Right, Mr. Creepy? Let's do it for those three knights, and for everybody in this world. Now you're talking, Ali boy. Let's get going. Alright, let's take a look at that. Eighty. I'd rather give... ...you... No. Spooky gets it. Alright, um... I'm gonna keep these three in our crew and fill everyone else. Actually, you. <laughs> these three, plus Dean, and everyone else will be for leveling up. Oh shit! Not more fun. Speaking of... Uh, he's a moon. Alright, and not you, okay. Alright, uh, let's see how much. No creature companion, 190. I need 50 still, holy shit. Um, and what quests do I have left? So, yeah, I need to do this quest. I probably should have done this first. Uh, right, next time we'll work on this Castaway Cove quest and fit, probably finish the conductor. I don't know if I'll have all the familiars by then. But, I sh it might be my last episode, <laughs> depending on how my voice works. Alright, thanks for watching, see you next time, bye!